What's up, Flipsider? So it's Wednesday, July 2nd, and I just finished watching The Office. And I started it like two years ago on Netflix because Jamie was into it at the time and my sister, and they both kind of double teamed me and got me to start watching it. And I love it, it's so funny, but I couldn't finish it because the last two seasons were not on Netflix yet, and the final season hadn't even aired. <coughs> so I wasn't going to be a love it, like watch it on TV. So I just assumed I'll come back to it, you know, when when all the seasons are on Netflix. And I had kind of forgotten about it until I saw it on Netflix the other day. I'm like, holy crap, I'm really bored. I'm just going to watch it. So <laughs> in like the course of a week, maybe a week and a half, finished the whole, se the whole series, all nine seasons. It's so good. And it reminded me, if you guys have not watched The Office, you need to go and watch it because it's such a funny show and the characters are so good. But um, it reminded me of an idea that I had all, all those two years ago, all those two years ago, uh, an idea two years ago to do a, how to shoot in a YouTube video, like documentary, but in the style of kind of like The Office, so kind of like a parody. And we never ended up doing it, even though we started it like several times and it's all written out. I'd probably rewrite it now because, I don't know, I think I can write it better at this point. But um... I should go make that, but, the, you know, then I was thinking, well, should it just be like a one episode kind of parody thing, or should it be like a whole like web series, and we'll make like our own characters, and it could be like a whole web series parody, but then I'm thinking maybe we should just go kind of our own direction with it, like kind of, kind of be similar, because that's kind of the core idea, but then make it our own, or would it be better as a parody, I don't, I don't know, but <laughs> there. You know, I'd like to have like a, I've always wanted to write a show with a bunch of characters. That's always been something Monty and I have talked about for a long time, either a movie or a web series. Um, but therein lies the problem in that I don't have any friends. <laughs> I don't have any friends to play any of the parts anymore. I d <laughs> so that's what's been going on with Flipsider Films recently is I have nobody to work with anymore. So how do I put out content, quality content with like quality narrative, skit driven, <laughs> movie trailer content, if I don't have any actors or crew to help me and I don't have any money to pay for any of that, ugh, it's just, it's so frustrating. I don't know, hmm, it's like at times I have all these friends, but they're not really friends, they're just people who need stuff from me because I've always been someone who's been more than willing to help out <laughs> any friends who or anybody, really, who needs help. Um, I'll tutor people, and I honestly, I just, I'm, I'm too helpful. And I'm not saying this in like a cocky way, but I, I think it, it leads to me getting taken advantage of a lot because I'm so willing to help out anybody who asks for it that that's what a lot of these friendships are like built upon because people know this. And so I'll be the one that they come to when they need something, either they need a friend at the time, or they need help in math, or economics, or, not pointing to anyone in particular, um, or they just need help emotionally, or whatever, they'll come to me, because yeah, I've got it all figured out, right? And then, <laughs> as soon as they're done with what they need, they're, they're gone. And this has been a consistent theme, it seems like, but that's like a consist consistent thing in life, I suppose. I'm just at an, you know, the opposite end of people who use other people. I'm just the one who gets used a lot. Um, so right now, nobody needs anything from me. And so nobody's around right now, really. I'm sure I could contact some people, but it's like, it's like a chore to be with people who make no effort to want to spend time with you or want to hang out with you because you're just friends. And so it's like, I don't want to talk to you and try to pretend like we have this cool friendship when you really don't care at all. And so I don't know who to film with. And that's hard for Flipsider Films because I need to film with someone. And a lot of my ideas, I've got like a bunch of little cousins that will help me. But I need sometimes I need older people like my age or older. And so it's like, I can't shoot anything without that help. And so... It's really frustrating, and it's not just frustrating because I can't shoot anything, it's frustrating because I don't have any friends. Uh, but, uh, I don't know, it's just been weird recently, and even with Monty, um, 
Monty's a character. I love that kid. I love him to death. But, you know, he's in his own world, and he has been for a while. <laughs> the only time he isn't in his own world is when he doesn't have a girlfriend. Which makes sense, because his girlfriend should come before me, so I'm not throwing any of that on him. But it's like... <sighs> I don't know. I want a friend who wants to be my friend because he wants to be my friend, if that makes any sense. And so, I don't know. With Monty, it's been, you know, I'm his YouTube partner and I'm kind of his fallback, um, for lack of better terms. I love the kid, though, and he, he is my best friend, but he's leaving soon and I will not see him. He's coming back, I think, for a couple months, but then I'll probably never see him again. He's moving to the East Coast. And then, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a weird transitional period, honestly, to where, I don't know, it's like I'm ready to get out of Carson. Because you go to, like, any corner of Carson, any, like, place, and I probably have, like, a memory there. It's like, I don't know, it's like I've worn out my stay here, and it's time for me to move on and just go somewhere else. I don't even know, but... This is where we go to film all the time. This is where we shot Batman and the zombie video and all that. We got cops, cops rolled up to the fence over there when we were shooting the zombie video when all of us were out here covered in blood and everything. It was fun. Um, the cops stayed with their sirens on for a little bit and then they just decided to leave, which was kind of weird. But then, every time we come here, we always write something on the wall. Monty, classy guy, writes wieners and gonads. And then here's, gosh, I hope this shows up on the film. So we got flip side of film. Boosh! Right there with the Jacob C, Monte Hall, and then Catherine side there too. Um, this, that, I don't know where this paint came from, but before this, we had, uh, we'd written Jacob and Monte all over the wall. And then they painted, like, specific areas. I don't know if they're trying to cover up the chalk. I don't know if they realize that chalk comes off of the water. But they just painted over our Jacob and Monte collage that we had there. And then this piece of duct tape, right there that's been sticking there since batman we stuck that there <laughs> it's been there since batman clearly not that many people come up come out here but yeah i just i just miss how it used to be you know when i guess a year ago even no not even a year ago because a year ago the only videos i did that summer were minecraft and the get to the charger video and those were all done with family mostly because I didn't have any friends to call on it's like during the summertime when everybody's free and has no worries Jacob is just he's not a part of the equation I don't know but um gosh I just miss having people to hang out with a lot and just go out and do stuff and then also film with because that's fun right here actually when we signed that wall that was for the how to make a YouTube video that we started yeah, that that was what that was for. Oh gosh, nine months ago now, eight months ago, man, if that was a baby, it would have been born by now. But it's still not ready to come out, <laughs> and it's gonna be redone because somebody's not gonna be in the video anymore. Um, Catherine, I gotta take her out. But um, I actually don't even know if I have that footage anymore. Uh, somebody is unhappy over there. But, uh, jeez, it's been like, I don't know. It's been a weird summer, honestly. I haven't really been doing much and been doing a lot of gaming channel stuff, which has actually taken off like crazy. We're making way more on the gaming channel, financially wise, than on Flipsider Films. So it makes, um, monetarily, monetarily, more value sense to work on the gaming channel instead. So I've been putting out like two videos a day there. But I want to get back to Flip Center Films. I just don't know how to do it right now. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it by myself. So, it's just, uh, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to click those like and subscribe button. This has been like a self-pity party, this whole video. I apologize. This was not intended to be a pity party, but you guys know. Uh, I do these vlogs because it's something that I can look back on later kind of reflect on and just kind of see where I was at the time so I just speak whatever's on my mind I haven't done like a real solemn video in a while I don't think not since like the introspection video about my mom's cancer that was months ago so 
I had a good record there. That was pretty good. This wasn't even a solemn video. This is a fun video. Um, just inside, it's really solemn and sad. But um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click those like subscribe buttons if you haven't already. And I'm gonna really try to get a Flip Center Films video out soon. I just I need to do some scripted video stuff again because it's that's my passion. It's so fun, and I just I need to get something out. So. And, uh, but and then it's like I had VBS one week at nights, you know, work in the day, VBS at nights. And then the next week at off, which is nice. Uh, not from work, but from VBS. And the next week I had another VBS. VBS is exhausting, man. And then I got really sick. I'm just getting over a pretty bad sickness. And it's just, it's just like one thing after another. But this next week, hopefully, <coughs> I'll, be, I'll be better. I already feel a lot better than I did, but it's still fairly sick. Um, but I feel better. And hopefully next week, be 100% again, good to go, and I don't know, we'll see what happens. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on the flip side.